Yes, obviously, um, an amazing feeling to obviously get recognised by your fellow professionals that you play week in, week out with. So, no, I've obviously been trying to work on myself uh, um, all season, try to improve and, you know, to get recognised is, is a great feeling. What do you feel this season? You say you're always looking to, to work and improve. What do you feel this season is the, the, the areas that you've, you've improved in? My whole game. I always try to improve my whole game. I'm, I'd say I'm never perfect in any area. You can always work harder on every single aspect of your game. So that's it, just all the finer details and you know working hard. And it obviously helps scoring um, a lot of goals and getting a lot of assists. But yeah, just yeah, just trying to work on everything in general. Five big games coming up. There's still two trophies at stake. How do you view the, the next few weeks? Um, game by game, trying to get three points in every single one of them. So. Yeah, important game um, coming up at the weekend, and that's what we've got to fully focus on. Can't focus anything further than that because that's the most important game that we need to play, and then it'll be the next one. So, yeah, our fully focus will be on obviously the league first, and we'll have a, a cup final at the end of the season. Given the way that the season started for Rangers, just what would it mean to go on and, and lift potentially our trouble? Well, we obviously got to do that first, and. Yeah, we had a, a slow start to the season, um, difficult start, and then we had the tr transition of uh, obviously a new manager, and I felt we've really, you know, went at leaps and bounds from from where we were to where we are now, and the way we've improved as a team and as a club. So, yeah, we can't think too far ahead. Um, like I said, it's the most important thing is this weekend, and we've obviously got to concentrate on that and and try and win. On the park, it's clear, it's clear what you have to do to get over the line, but off the park, what do you need to do to get there? Um, just what we've been doing since uh, the gaffers came in. Keep working really hard behind the scenes at the training pitch. Um, yeah, nothing really changes, um, um, except for what I said, just working really hard on the training pitch, what we've been doing. So, um, yeah, just normal, normal preparations. Is this the most intense that you felt the pressure at Rangers? Um, no, I think there's always this pressure from the first game of the season. When you play for a club like Rangers, there's pressure every single game. Um, if it's you know an early round in the cup or it's the a league game, there's always high pressure. And, you know the fans want us to win every single game that we play, in, so that there is the pressure that we're we're all playing under. Does it feel an important obstacle yet yesterday because obviously the way it happened, the Spanish boys in the second half, you know, a bit sticky to, to get that win. Um, not every game is going to be perfect. You know, football's like that. You know, the best teams in the world, all the games are not perfect. So, the most important thing was was to get the three points, and now we reacted um, in the second half from that from the game. Um, but yeah, we, we we know that our performance levels could be better from yesterday's game. But the, you know, we 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 obviously won the game. Um, and then we can improve, which is really important. Do you see your, your, some of your teammates who maybe came at the start of this season just learning more and more about the, how to deal with the pressure as well when you're in this situation as well? Is this, you can see that you know, how, they, how they kind of dealt with this situation yesterday as well. Do you, do you see that being an important thing as well for them? I must say it's important, everybody you know, working together as a team. Um, I think the manager says it really clearly, um, especially to us behind the scenes that you know, it's not just the starting eleven. It's it's the people that make an impact off the bench. It's the people that are just in the match day squad. You know, what we do behind the scenes on the training pitch is really push each other and try to maximise you know our performance levels so we're the we're at the peak and we can be the best we can come come a match day. And you know, it's never the starting eleven that can win a game. It's going to be players that come onto the pitch that you know can make a real big impact. So. And that's the clear message since the gaffers came in about everybody coming together and you know really pushing each other and, and it's good to see that um, you know the different scenarios that are thrown at us that you know we can you know rise above it. Is that is that something that you've been through the course of the previous years, James? Does it get easier to handle the the fallout and the negativity and, and the personal criticism when things aren't going as about going as well? Um, I find it all the same. Um, I'm really you know. I've got big shoulders. I can I can accept criticism. Um, you know I can probably give myself more criticism than the outside world. But um, yeah, it comes part of the parcel. It's football, and you know you, this day and age in football, you're gonna, you know, it's I think it's amplified the way you know people criticise. But you know that's the way the world works. You know it moves forward. It, you know so no, I'm 
I can I can handle all the pressure. So it's just about me just you know trying to lead, lead by example on and off the pitch, and, and I'll always try to do the best the way I can. Jim has been a bit of speculation about your own future, apart of interest from Saudi Arabia. You've got a couple of deals, it's got a couple of years left in your deal. Do you intend to see your time out of that contract? Well, it's definitely not the first time there's been speculation that uh, Saudi Arabia has been brought up. I think it's been past year that it's been flying around, and obviously, reading what's been said lately, I think Connor's been tagged on the list uh, with that. But you know, it's football, there's always going to be speculation, and I'm contracted to Rangers for another two seasons after this. and. You know, I'm fully focused of what I have to do this season, and then concentrate on on what's to what's to come next season. And you know, I think the gaffers came out and and said that I'm a, a you know a big part of his plans. And you know, it's obviously nice when you you know that you're a big part of the plan. So yeah, my my full focus is on the Rangers. I'm contracts to Rangers. So yeah. Cheers. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you.